I don't think they would be the same. So I don't see them going anywhere. I see them probably working out their issues. Uh, yeah. With the Kaepernick situation, I think he he's he's okay. He, he said he's okay with being the backup, but he he's gonna get paid like probably you know Cal Orton when he got paid a couple of years ago it was like two million or Glennon. He, he's gonna get that type of money because he if he does get the opportunity to start, and, and I let think me he'll be able quick, to do it. Let me just quick say the only reason. I would not sign him. It's not because of any of the news that he's going to bring. It's because this is not a, if Dak goes down, you have one guy you call and that's that. And if he says no, you know, it's over. And we, we both know that guy is. And, you know, <laughs> right. exactly. I, I would not, I would, I mean, I would just be so ashamed if Dak goes down and they don't call my guy. <laughs> I, I, oh, man, that would just. You, that that you know. would be the only other hope, honestly. Yeah. But if Dak does go down, we do have a viable option. Oh yeah, you you know you know they're gonna call, you know they're gonna call Tony. You know. Oh yeah. You know Jerry already has his number in his flip phone. You know he, he's yeah. got that he's got <laughs> that old school <laughs> that old school T-Mobile <laughs> phone where you get to five, call five people and one yeah. of them is Tony Romo. Uh, and yeah. the other ones are his kids. I think but. <laughs> I think Kaepernick and and uh, Sherman uh, ultimately both end up in Seattle. Right. I think that's I where he's going to go. I think I think he, that would be a great spot for him. And, and you got a like a crazy, crazy weird uh, starting and backup quarterback. But uh, I'll definitely would see that happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, as always, man, great having you on the show. Always love getting your sports opinion. Definitely, and I'm gonna take Cavs in six, man. I think, Cavs in I six. Oh, I think okay. I think I think LeBron is destined, man. Um, it, it, ultimately, uh, it is going to come down to KD versus LeBron. I think. I honestly, I think Kevin Love. Uh, he he might not have been ready for the moment uh, last year. I think he's going to outperform Draymond. I love what he's been doing this uh, postseason. I don't see why it's going to stop. Uh, you're going to have to put the focus on LeBron, and then you kick it out to Cormer Love. Uh, Kyrie, arguably the best point guard in the NBA. So clutch. Um, just it's, it's incredible. He really he steps up when his name is called upon. And I just, I just think the Cavs are better, and I think LeBron wants it more. And I think they threw – uh, I've been telling everyone this. I think LeBron wanted them to lose that game to Boston just so they could have a sense of what a loss felt like and how to recover from it. You know, call me crazy, but I just think he's that great of a player that he recognizes that they were going to be able to win game four with no problem. Yeah. Cavs in six. All right, man. Well, appreciate you as always. Go follow, uh, follow excuse me, Tyler Esparza Powell, Tyler ESP underscore once again tyler esp underscore great having you on uh we'll definitely be doing it again on the next show appreciate it man you have all a right, good man. weekend take care, take care you care. too all right so obviously <laughs> reggie lords says i like this guy i need to follow him <laughs> he, he made some great points and that's why I love getting him on a show. He he breaks it down like none other, and he's not afraid to say the stuff that people either don't want to hear or sensitive ears don't want to hear. Um, and he's a great follow. So, yeah, go, go check him out. But I knew you were going to say that because he dropped some Cavs knowledge. We got Sluggo in the building. Thank you for coming in into the chat room. We actually have the show, the first half of the show, the first two hours uh, was on part one, and this is part two because of the issues, but appreciate you, Sluggo, the hammer, coming on. All right, so let's, before we end the show, Let's talk about a couple of other things from this week. One thing I'm, 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 I'm really excited about is the North Carolina Tar Heels football team has signed Larry Fedor to a contract extension. 
And I'm I'm excited about that because he has completely changed what in it what North Carolina football is all about. What he's done is help with recruiting, help with them winning. It's been a long time since North Carolina has been reveling. It's been probably since Lawrence Taylor that a North Carolina player has been drafted uh, that high in the first round. And, and that's, of course, in Mitchell Trubisky. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited that Larry Fedora is, is signed on, I believe, for like a three-year con, a three-year extension. But he's done he's done wonders. He's done wonders for this team as a whole. Look at all the players that have been drafted in this draft alone. I mean, there's, you know, Nas Jones. There's also like Ryan Switzer, uh, Trubisky, like I mentioned. Also, there was um, Matt Collins. So the list goes on. And this guy's done wonders. Done wonders for North Carolina football. All right, so... Also, is Brandon Marshall a cancer? You know, this came out basically from this week that it was a story, I believe, from Sheldon Richardson basically saying that Brandon Marshall was a cancer and we're glad that he's gone. Glad that he's no longer here. And... I think, I don't think, I don't know. I was kind of scratching my head because I didn't think he, I don't think he was a cancer. I mean, nobody's ever said that until now. Uh, Nobody's ever said we're trading Brandon Marshall because he's a cancer. But now the, the story is that he is and people are saying they aren't surprised. I'm like, well, I'm surprised because it's my first time ever hearing this. But I think for him, he's, he went to the Giants. He's saying this is it. He's no longer going to be playing after the remaining two-year contract. So I don't know. Maybe more will come out from other players. But Sheldon Richardson is the only one that's actually said anything. Also, the NFL changes a couple of rules. Uh, the league will loosen on restrictions on celebrations. Also, teams will be allowed to bring two players back from injured reserve. Also, they cut the overtime to 15 minutes to 10 minutes. And, it, you know, here's here's my thoughts on this. On the overtime. It needs to be sudden death. Why did you change it in the first place? sudden death whoever kicks the field goal should be the guy should be the team that wins if you kick a field goal if you score it they should win the game i'm tired of this let's give everybody a chance sudden death that's the only way you get to really figure out who wins the game unless you get you end in a tie and nfl ties are are so whack i'm sorry I, i hate to see a guy a team that has nine seven and one that's that's dumb I don't get it. Uh, Reggie Lawrence says, UNC football still sucks. And remember, Joe Flacco was drafted high out of Delaware State. Stop with UNC. (laughs) Don't worry. We'll be back. We'll be back next year. Uh, He said, Saban couldn't help make UNC into a relevant team. Is that you meant to mean to say Saban? You said it says Saber, so I don't I don't know about that. Uh, Reddy says that's a good idea with the IR. I agree. We got Tyler Esparza Powell in the chat room. Appreciate you for jumping in. Appreciate that. Uh, it says Marshall is such an underrated wide receiver. Has never had a good QB. Eli will be at least be able to get him the ball. I agree. That that's the Giants are a dangerous team, a dangerous team. That honestly, I am a little worried and a little afraid to face. 
Uh, obviously, Odell Beckham Jr. Now you add Brandon Marshall. Now you... Uh, Victor Cruz just left. He actually went to the Bears. But I, I think they are a dangerous team to watch. And, you know, it's like every two to three years... They become like super relevant and they end up making in the playoffs and making a deep run. So who knows? This may be that year. I hate to say that. I hate to think about it. Also, Sterling Shepard. Sterling Shepard had a great year last year. To me, their running game is the biggest question. You got Rashad Jennings. You got Paul Perkins. Um, I'm not sure who they drafted. Yeah, I'm not sure who they drafted in the draft, but they're going to be a dangerous team. So definitely watch out for for the Giants. I don't think they drafted a run. Oh, they got Wayne Gollum from Clemson, and he's not he's not that shabby. So whew, gonna have to watch out for for New York Giants. I think New York Giants will probably win the division. Defense wins. That's what uh, Tyler Sparza Powell says. And um, Dollars and Cents says Jennings still with Giants. That's a good question. Let's look that up right here on the wonderful Google. No, he is not. Well, actually, hold on. He's a free agent, so he is currently not with any team right now. So he's still lingering out there. Uh, but I think maybe the Giants may re-sign him. All right, so. Yeah, I think Jennings is, he hasn't been re-signed, so I don't know where he's going to be going. So, you got Paul Perkins, you got Wayne Gollum. So, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to start at running back. Also, I got to say rest in peace to Cortez Kennedy, NFL Hall of Famer. He died at 48. Former Miami, the U, football player and Seahawks player. Uh, Sad to see that. Also from the NFL, Odell Beckham gets a record shoe deal. Reportedly worth $5 million over five years. Uh, Shout out to Chief Rocca. Uh, and Tyler says he was too busy dancing, winning Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Agreed. He did win that. Also, the Pats restructured Gronkowski's contract with incentives uh, could possibly make him the highest paid tight end at $10.75 million. And Andre Hawkins signs with the Patriots. That's a huge signing right there. If you don't know who Andre Hawkins is, he's one of the probably underrated um, slept on kind of slot guys that's going to be huge I think for for the, the uh, excuse me for the Patriots alright so one other quick thing Chris Bosch got bought out of his contract with with the uh, with the Heat and He's got a couple of guys, a couple of teams that are looking at him, possibly. OKC, the Spurs, the Rockets, the Celtics, or the Cavs. He had a blood clot issue last year. Hasn't played within the past one to two years. So, I wish him the best. I don't know what his spot would really be, though. Um, The Spurs could be a potential spot. The Cavs are probably pretty high up on that list. The Celtics have a lot of money, so I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna say Celtics. I think I'm gonna say Celtics on that. And Sluggo says, "Isn't Hawkins the guy who was on Michael Urban's reality show?" Yes, he was. Uh, Fourth and Long, which was uh, a great show, I love that show. Yeah, he was on that. Uh, Jesse Holly, who was the guy that won the contest, ended up being on the Cowboys, was on it. And uh, Hawkins is good, man. Hawkins is really good. And the Patriots, that's dangerous for the Patriots. Dangerous. All right, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, everybody, for jumping over to the new link. I appreciate you guys. 
so much 